told you that last year, my kid who doesn't love reading, I've only got one of those, said one of his favorite Christmas gifts that year was a book. I want to show you exactly what we did to turn a book into a most amazing gift. We've done the same thing for each of our older kids who could read for the past couple of years, and each one has been a hit. I'm going to share with you specific ideas for kids of varying ages and interests, so feel free to use these exact ideas for the people on your giving list. I'll include the links to everything I mentioned down in the description below. I'm Stephanie from SixFiguresUnder.com where I share frugal inspiration and financial motivation to help your family get out of debt and reach your financial goals. Welcome back to our Frugal Festivities series where we're sharing 25 days of Christmas cheer on a budget. If you're new here, I'd love for you to click that subscribe button and stick around. In January, we'll be doing a frugal fresh start challenge where every weekday in January, we'll be talking about a new way to be frugal and budget and get your finances in order. The first thing you need to do is pick an awesome book. The kind of books we're looking for are books that teach something exciting that your kids want to learn. We don't buy a lot of new books around here. Most of our kids are voracious readers and would quickly read us out of house and home if it weren't for the library and the thrift store. But in this case, we do buy a new book because I'm looking for a specific book in most cases. Though if you find the right book used, then by all means, get it. Let me give you some examples and then I'll share with you the key to making this gift awesome. My son, who I mentioned in the beginning, who doesn't love to read, is currently 10 and is a maker at heart. He loves engineering, building, inventing, and projects. Some of the books I looked at for him were Rubber Band Engineer, Duct Tape Engineer, Maker Lab. The one I decided on was Rubber Band Engineer. In a minute, we'll look at lots of other ideas for kids with other interests. Now, if you're a kid like my son, and you thumb through a book full of projects with great instructions and pictures on Christmas morning, what are you going to want to do? You're going to want to immediately get started on those projects, but while the supplies are fairly simple and inexpensive, you inevitably don't have the things you need to make the project you want to start with. So you flip to another page, eager to try that project, but the same problem, you don't have the supplies you need. After this happens a few times, you give up and shelf the book. You ask your mom to pick up the supplies next time she's at the store, but she's busy and doesn't remember. Your cool book isn't nearly as cool anymore. The key to making this gift awesome is that you include the needed supplies with the book. Of course, you don't have to include everything you need for every project, but having a good arsenal of supplies to start out with so that you can make some of the projects makes a huge difference. So when we gave our son, Rubber Band Engineer, we also gave him packs of paint stirrers that you can get at Home Depot, big bags of rubber bands, mouse traps, rubber tubing that you find in the, the pet fish department, masking tape, duct tape. We wrap the supplies right with the book so that the kids immediately know that they have what they need to get started with their projects. Here are some more examples of some great books and the supplies that go with them. One year we gave our daughter this braids and buns, ponies and pigtails hairstyles book. And right in here it gives you some ideas of what you can um, gift along with it. A wide tooth comb, curling iron, rat tail comb, detangling brush, duck bill clips, hair elastics. So we gave her an assortment of things that she would need for this book along with it and it was a hit. The Kids Book of Hand Lettering. This has lots of fun, let's see, lots of fun hand lettering projects and instruction. Along with this one we gave brush markers so our daughter could get started right away on the, on the lettering projects. Sewing School. This one has a lot of fun projects. It includes the patterns. All your kids need is some fabric to go along with this one. When one of our sons was younger, we gave this drawing book with a sketch pad and pen, pencils. Um, this year, already wrapped, is um, another more, more in-depth drawing book. Along with that book, we have a more advanced um, drawing kit. The possibilities are endless. Just think of an interest that the child has, find a how-to book about it, and include the supplies 
at least some of the supplies to do the, the projects with the book. If your kids are like mine, they'll dive in and start reading and using that book right away. Okay, I'll see you back here tomorrow for day 11 of Frugal Festivities, 25 days of Christmas cheer on a budget. And don't forget to sign up for January's Frugal Fresh Start Challenge. See ya.